Welcome back to YouTube. I'm Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you all the new changes in November 2021 security update for Pixel devices. I wish I had my Pixel 6 Pro by now, but unfortunately, it's expected to arrive mid-November, so stay tuned for my upcoming videos. But for now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to help me reach my first 100k subscribers. And now let's take a look at the new features in Android 12 November 2021 security update. Let's start with the build number on my Pixel 5. It's sp one This build is mainly bug fixes and performance improvements. I couldn't spot any new features. But still I'm gonna share with you some new features and the changes that I didn't mention before since the release of Android 12. And if you follow me on Twitter, you should have seen some of them already. But if you want to take a look at the bug fixes and improvements, they should appear now on the screen so you can take a screenshot and go through them later. But for now, let me show you the new features. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the new security hub. So here I have two phones running Android 12, the Pixel 4a on the left and the Pixel 5 on the right. The Pixel 5 got the new version while the Pixel 4a didn't. So I will be able to show you the differences side by side. To access Security Hub, just jump to Settings and then go to Security and you will see two different pages. The first thing you see at the top is the new security indicator. It will show you how secure is your device based on how many green checks you have next to these options. The indicator has four different levels of security. In my case, I only achieved the first three and that's why it says security can be improved. Review your settings. And if I want to know why, I can scroll down and here I have an exclamation mark next to Google Security Checkup. This option doesn't even exist in the previous security settings. And when you tap on it, it will take you to the security checkup page under your Google account. And here it will start to show you some recommendations. In my case, I have three. The first one is to remove one of my devices that I didn't use for 270 days. The second recommendation is to activate two-step verification. And finally, I have nine compromised passwords. I think they are useful recommendations that I will definitely go through them later. But for now, let's go back to the settings page. Another difference here is Google Play Protect is now called App Security and both will take you to the same page in Google Play Store. The rest of the options are exactly the same, but the only difference here is in the concept. So for example, if you find my device is activated, that will count against your security. If your apps are secured, that will also count and so on and so forth. And instead of having them as isolated security options under your settings. One more thing worth mentioning, previously when you scroll down, you will see all the security options on the same page, but now we have a new item called advanced settings. This one includes all the options starting from smart lock, and down. I checked each and every sub menu on both versions and they are exactly the same, no difference. The only thing I want to show you here before ending this chapter is the redesigned smart lock page. This change is not related to the new security hub. It will appear anyways on your phone if you are using Android 12. Now when you go to onbody detection, you will see a redesigned page with a better graphical representation, same as trusted places and finally trusted devices. Next the widgets. And I spotted a new behavior that I've never seen before. When you try to push one of your widgets out of the way like this, you will get this new bounce animation. And once you clear the way again, it will return back to its original position like this. It also happens with icons. It doesn't have to be another widget. I think this new behavior will minimize any accidental misplacement for your widgets while organizing your home screen. Next, translating text on the fly. So if you want to translate some text from your recent apps screen or Google Chrome or whatever app you are using, now you will get an, a floating window when you choose Google Translate. This floating window will show you the original text and the translated one. You can also change the languages. You can get access to pretty much all the options. You can copy, you can listen to the text, or you can start a new translation from this floating window as well, if you want. I'm not sure if this new floating window is related to an update for the app itself or Android 12. So if you are still using Android 11, please give it a try and let me know in the comments. Next, the media recommendations. In Android 12, we got a new toggle under sound and vibration, then media, it's called show media recommendations. Previously, I've never seen any recommendations on my phone, but finally I got one and I took a screenshot. In this one, it asked me if I want to resume playing one of my YouTube videos on Chromecast with Google TV. And finally, the performance. I did a Geekbench 5 test after installing November update and here are the results. I got 589 for the single core and 1526 for the multi-core, which is pretty much the same thing before installing the update. So don't expect any performance boost with this one. For the battery, I didn't have the time to test it yet, but you can reach me out through the comments and I will tell you my experience. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes in November 2021 security update. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.